Oh, honey. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, everyone. Monique Renee here at Silver Paw Studio, and I am here a few days in advance of my next session to set up for them. And I want to change out the backdrop and make sure my lights are charged and rearrange a little bit. And I'm gonna take you along with me on this photo session. I have gotten permission from her to do some behind the scenes. What she has said is these are two uh, little dogs, chihuahuas I believe, and one of them's fairly young and very shy. And so we've been planning this for a few months just to make sure the dog got a little bit older, they can do some training and get through her space surgery and the time has come. So I want to walk you through this photo session where I deal with a very shy little dog. Before you ever even get to the photo session or the studio, there's some things you can do ahead of time. First of all, always chat with the owner and make a plan. We had been talking quite a bit over the weeks through email. Now, once they got to the studio, introductions were really important. Always let the dogs come to you. And I tend to move really slowly, really deliberately and talk quiet. Everything to make it a calm, peaceful environment. In my studio, it's very contained and so we could let them completely explore. And she brought some high value treats. And so we just started off throwing some treats around the studio not having them come get them from my hand, but I took some treats from the owner and then threw them around. And then they got the hint that I had treats. And so they warmed up to me pretty quickly with those treats. I also found out later from the owner that the extra shy dog got a lot of confidence having her sister there. So having both dogs there gave her a lot of confidence. Uh, so that's a huge tip as well. And then I also wanted to make sure they were okay with the sound of the camera and the lights flashing. So I tried just pushing the button to make the lights flash and pushing the shutter button without pointing at them just to see how they'd react to the sounds and the lights. And they did really well with that. You're almost on them, aren't you, sweetie? <laughs> Now, during this session, I try to use noisemakers sparingly for shyer dogs. Sometimes the startling noises of squeakies and other loud noisemakers we use for photography for shy dogs, it just, um, it upsets them. So I asked the owner first what she thought, and we did use some uh, a little. I also made sure I had the owners only handle them. There was no need for me to pick up or maneuver these dogs at all because I had both of them there, both of the people there. So that helps a ton with the shy dogs as well. It's also really great to have a helper. In this case, it was the husband. And so he would sometimes make some little noises to get their attention. And he would hold one if we were photographing the other and just was kind of a nice comfort for them. And speaking of comfort, she also brought an extra bed in case they needed it, but we never did end up needing the bed, but it's nice to have some comfort items as well. Also, you notice I use my 70 to 200 long lens quite a bit, and especially in the first part of the session. Once they warmed up to me and they realized mom had all the treats, <laughs> then I put on my other lens a couple of times too. And sometimes with shy dogs, I don't stand over them. And I find this happens a lot at the shelters. Trying to get that top down, looking straight down at them is a really cute photo, but sometimes it makes them nervous. So sometimes you don't want to stand over them. Obviously lots of high value treats or high value whatever that dog likes. These dogs really love their treats. Some dogs have special toys or objects that they like. So something high value. 
obviously being encouraging and patient with the people and the dogs goes a long ways. And give breaks. When I change out the backdrop, that's a good time for the dogs to just sigh and wander around. If it's a longer session, maybe go for a potty break. So everybody needs a break when they model. My goal with every session is it for, for it to be the best day ever. I know the dogs and the people are going to go home exhausted, but I want them to think that they had a good time and that their dogs and the people were all treated with the utmost care and respect. <laughs> I went really well. It was kind of warm in here because the heater finally works. <laughs> they got a lot of treats, not gonna lie. But they did so, so good. And I tried to use all of the tips and tricks that I learned from Beth and Wayne from the video I did a few months ago with them on how to approach um, shy dogs. So that really worked out well. And we tried a variety of props and things to make them more comfortable. Uh, most dogs are more comfortable on the carpet when it, although it's a nice look to have a full sweep paper backdrop, some dogs that's just too much. For, especially like these little ones, they're too slippery. So I wanted things that they felt comfortable on. So when we brought in my blue office chair, they weren't as hip to that for some reason. So we just abandoned that idea. Um, putting them on furniture like they would be at home is helpful and it kind of contains them into one spot. And big thanks to Nicole for being willing to be part of this video with her pups. Boop! Pause the subscribe button and ring the bell too, right? You don't want to miss any more cute puppies. Duh. Okay! As always, I wish you many looks, purrs, and T R E A T S S. Ah! So cute! Oh my gosh! <gasps> so cute! Oh, look at those eyes, so shiny! Puppies. Oh, oh, look at the arrow. Oh, 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 they're so cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah. Oh, and the oh. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs>